representatives here from Deutschland. Come on! Make it all the way over here. That's beautiful to see. England? No, all right, just me. That's fine. We're cool with that. Hey, thank you so much for being here today. This is a beautiful display of civil disobedience. This is what this movement is all about. We put challenge to power, whether it's the parliament or the ministry. We keep blocking until they give in to our demands. And we are beautiful as we do it. Look at the colours here today. Look at the life. It's beautiful. Give it up for yourselves. This is the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of non-violence, the spirit of civil disobedience that has gone through our history books, that's won our rights over and over again. Whether that's Emmeline Pankhurst from the UK winning rights for women, whether that's Martin Luther King winning rights for civil rights in the USA, every one of them has fought as you fight today, and it's incredible. One of us today is walking in the footsteps of those ancestors. They are paving the way for this blockade. We are not the first ones to take a motorway. We are definitely not the first ones. And it's beautiful to see it happening over and over again until the Dutch government gives in. And what we're seeing across the world right now is very painful. We're seeing people like you and me who are demonstrating for our planet, who are environmental defenders, who care for their local habitats, and they are being imprisoned, and they are being killed. Last year, Global Watch said that 200 environmental defenders have been killed. Last month, my friends in England were imprisoned for up to five years for standing in the motorway. It is outrageous, and they're jailing us one by one, picking us off like small animals. We can't let this happen. We've got to stand together. One such person who was jailed just four days ago is my friend Large. I travelled across Europe with Large giving talks like this one, like small events. We've camped under the stars together, thinking about what a beautiful world we can create. And right now, he's been sentenced to a three-year jail prison sentence for standing up for what we believe in. He's not going to see the stars again, but we've got to keep demonstrating. We've got to fight for his freedom. We've got to fight for all their freedoms. world out there. There are many powerful forces against us. It's a David and Goliath-esque situation. But when I see all the people here today, the beautiful colours, the arrangement, I know we can win it! I know it! I feel it in my bones! And every step along the way, I know that even if we don't save every species, even if we don't save every person, We've met each other! We've met a beautiful community of people that are willing to stand up for life! And that's the spirit I want you all to take back into your communities. Today, this week, over the coming months, I want you to build in every local town rebellions like this, colourful, beautiful, spiritual, telling the truth to power. This is the world we want to see, and we are going to build it together. Thank you, Netherlands. Keep standing up for